Good morning there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, uh, today is December 5th. Yesterday was a pretty productive day. Uh, what we've done is we cont continued down this uh, wall here after we've uh, put our cabinets and stuff here. And we got this thing, we finished clearing this area out yesterday. Had to move a weight bench and uh, an old china cabinet. And uh, we took our bars down off our window temporarily and we went ahead and got all our insulation installed yesterday about midway down this wall so today we'll be putting up some osb and we'll be uh, moving this uh cabinet over here with the stove in it like i was showing you the other day we'll get it mounted in this area here that's what we'll work on today now friends since i got you here today um we'll talk a little bit about insulation um basically what you do is you just uh measure it off take your razor knife and uh, you can cut it off uh, you notice that this wall has a has like a brace in between these uh, studs all the way around the building so I I measure off and I cut each piece uh, the upper pieces have all been 46 and a half the lower pieces have been about 45 and go ahead and uh, cut them and shove them in place and in between some of these other ones sometimes you got to rip it down to get it to fit and uh, of course you want to cut around your outlets a little bit and uh, now what I'll do now is actually this insulation you can pull this paper over on your stud and staple and I'll go around and uh, pull all these pieces uh, onto the stud and staple them as I go uh, I'll leave them like that for now uh, because where I have a break where I'm going to put a break in I want to be able to see my, my stud go so I'll just pull one side and leave the other side tucked in and uh, pull it back pull it over later when I hang the next piece so right now they're just all kind of shoved in there but we'll take our staple gun and we'll, we'll come and staple all these uh, onto the stud and I'll show you a couple types of staple guns you can either use a one here that you just a squeeze trigger you know you can put it up here and pop it like that right there I actually use that one the majority of the time I'll show you another one that I have here this here is a slap stapler i use this a lot of roofing when i'm putting down tar paper and stuff and this one here you can just kind of use like a hammer you know just go like that right there and uh, it pops a staple in there so friends just wanted to give you a little instruction on that right quick another thing when you deal with insulation make sure you have uh clothing on that covers like your arms and stuff because even uh, the little fine pieces of fiberglass uh, kind of get throughout the air make sure you wear a dust mask wear some uh, some clothing that covers your whole body and of course when you go to wash that clothing make sure you wash it in a load by itself you know just don't run it with your kids clothes or anything like that just uh, kind of keep the, the insulation down to a minimum you don't want to be breathing in the stuff and you don't want to be bringing it into your house and uh, for your kids and stuff to uh, breathe it too so friends, have a great day. We'll see you back here maybe tomorrow or the next day. Take care and God bless.